Today, we are exploring Sikihor, a small island nestled just below the popular islands of Cebu and Bohol. Our day didn't go exactly as planned, and we hope we can help you guys avoid some of the mistakes we made as we check out Palaton Beach, Kambuga High Falls, and of course, try some more delicious Filipino food. We're Jill and Hana. Last year, we quit our jobs, sold everything we owned, and moved out of our apartment in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, we're setting off on a journey to travel the world for as long as we possibly can. Good morning from Sikihor. We woke up super bright and squirrely today so we get to the falls before anybody else does. And you may be wondering, Jill and Hana, you've been to so many waterfalls already. Why didn't you go to another one? The answer is they're awesome and we're still not tired of them yet, so let's go. True facts. <laughs> Getting on a bike in the morning is the best feeling. With it's the true, wind yeah. in my fur. <laughs> So our first stop is a bakery to stuff our backpack full of pastries. For breakfast, a healthy, balanced meal. Ooh. They have something called a peanut butter roll. A peanut butter roll. She secured the bag. <laughs> we got tons of pastries, a caramel macchiato, and a matcha latte for $1.55, which is what, less than three bucks? Yeah, something like that. Less than three dollars. Crazy. Traveling is great. <laughs> the lid has popped off, and my foot is now covered in coffee. Yay! Yay! Just taking a little coffee sip break because the lid came off <laughs> of hers and it's leaking and the ice is melting. We have arrived. Unfortunately, we're a little bit behind schedule. Typical for us this morning. And there's already a nice little line of motorbikes here, so we're not gonna be alone at the falls, but hopefully it's still not as busy as it normally would be. I can see the water already and it's so blue. I will never get over how freaking blue all of these waterfalls and lagoons are. They're so beautiful. This place is pretty cool. It's more of like a swimming hole lagoon than an actual like big waterfall. But there's still like multiple levels of the falls that go way up there. We've got a raft you can sit on. There's two rope swings. And you can just like chill in the cold water. I definitely see how this is like the most popular spot in Sikihor to come visit. It's definitely filling up fast with people. So I'm glad we got here as early as we did. Oh, this is a big boy. It is a big boy. We waited for this raft for like 30 minutes and haven't got in the water yet. And then when we got to the front, they told us we had to pay. So, you know, anyways, now we're going to the water. Yeah. jumps on this platform, so that's worth it too. Four, three, two, one, go up. Good job! Ah, uh, this looks better. Yeah. Oh, look how pretty it is. So the bottom level of the pool had some stuff to do, but overall, I feel like it just felt a bit too touristy, theme parky to me. I haven't been enjoying it quite as much as the other waterfalls we've been to so far. But we came up to the second pool and we have this entire thing to ourselves. to the beach, beach, let's go get away. Okay, okay, let's go to the beach. I wanna go to the beach. Okay. So we 
I did not like the waterfall, but after visiting so many like big, beautiful, authentic feeling waterfalls on Cebu, this one just felt a little kitschy. Is that a word? I think so. It was just very touristy. All the like things to do other than swim required you to pay money for them. It felt more like a theme park. The activities are fun. The falls and the water were so like very beautiful. But like the busyness with all the people, it just kind of felt less fun to us for some reason. Yeah, and it's not that any of the activities were expensive or anything like that. It's not a big deal to pay 50 pesos. It no. just it just didn't feel the same to us. So anyways, we're just gonna go to the beach now, chill the rest of the day. I gotta find her a hot dog to eat on the beach. <laughs> Let's Alrighty, go. Lego. The seat is toasty. We gonna have some toasty buns. Okay. Time to roast some buns. Oh gosh. How's it feeling? Must avoid direct bun placement. <laughs> Let's do it. Whee! Oh man, this is my favorite activity. Honestly, yeah. Anywhere we go, I just, I just want to drive around on a scooter like all day. On the bike, I'm instantly having more fun. Right. <laughs> the best. Also, we realized today that this might be our last day of motorbiking around Southeast Asia mm -hmm. for a very long time. Yep, we've got two more countries and I don't think there will be any motorbiking in either of them. Nope, this so. might be it. Oh, that's so sad, I forgot. Hopefully in other parts of the world we'll also get to scooter around. It just may not be quite as chill as it is here. Before we go to the actual beach, we gotta stop for lunch first, cause we hungry. I love the vibes of this place. This place is really, really cute, I love it. <laughs> what, oh what, do we have here, Miss Hana? I found Jenga. <laughs> We're gonna make so much noise. It's okay. You move first. Who do you think's gonna win? Comment down below. Riveting content. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm like a pro at Jenga or anything. Me either. I haven't played Jenga in forever. Thank you. Yummy. Oh, it's sizzling. This is pork seasig. Roasted pork mixed together with chai yo. I don't know what that is. Onions, garlic, fresh chili, salt and pepper. We got an egg on there. We got this little calamansi. It's kind of like a lime. And we have some spring onions on here too. And it, it comes out delicious. sizzling in a hot little pan. Yes. <laughs> bon apple tea. Mmm. <laughs> That's some good roasted pork. It's like it's straight off the grill. In a way, it kind of reminds me of just like classic fajitas, but it's got even more like sauciness and flavor going on with like the egg and the grilled pork. And when you get a good fatty piece of pork, mm -hmm. the Philippines does pork so well. Mm -hmm. So the second thing we got is chicken adobo, which is like super classic. I just hit the plant with my fork. Like a super classic Filipino dish. We actually used to make this a bit at home, just using some little Pinterest recipe, and even that was really, really good. Slapped. So the base of the sauce is like soy sauce, ginger, bay leaves, garlic, onions, garlic, onions, all that good, good vinegar, stuff. and it's basically chicken and potatoes. Mm. Get in there, Hana. <laughs> Get in there. Well, the flavor of that is really good. It's different than what we used to make back at home, unsurprisingly. I can taste like the soy and the ginger. It's a good combo. It honestly just feels like such a good like home-cooked meal. Like mm -hmm. a different take on pot roast or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one's your favorite? I think I have to go with chicken adobo. Mm. What about you? Pretty even, I mean. Yeah? I think so. My favorite thing is, is it called lechon kawali that mm. I had last night? And the first chicken seasick that we had. Yes, the first chicken, that was my... Those are my things. The chicken seasick with the hair in it. It was still the best seasick we've had. <laughs> That was really good. But this I just, is delicious too. I did not try the witch on thing you had last night. It was too good. I don't think she wanted to share. That's fine. <laughs> I might need to get that somewhere before we go. Yeah, gonna die. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, let's go get wet. <laughs> I'd love to. Oh my god, it's so hot again. Ooh. Pour some apple juice on it. 
We've made it to Peloton Beach. It smells salty and the wind is blowing and it's like super quiet out here. This is supposed to be like the most popular busy beach in Sikihor and it's like all I hear is waves and a little bit of voices. It's so nice. It's the tiniest little beach. It really is. I was expecting it to be so much bigger. That's what she said. Well, this is our spot then. The water looks so green. Yeah, it's clear. Mm hmm. You can see my feet. Wow. Time to pull out the GoPro so I don't gotta worry about destroying our camera. Hot delivery. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, back to my favorite water activity. <laughs> Another one. We pretty much have the water to ourselves. Yeah, like it's a small beach. There's not that many people here, honestly. Yeah, it's not that busy. We didn't show it much on camera, but we were a bit disappointed with Palaton Beach. It didn't look anything like the photos we saw online, and we later found out there are actually two Palaton Beaches in Sikihor. Apparently, there is a second, much larger Palaton Beach that is also known as Little Barakai, and this is where all the beautiful photos are from. So if you're looking for a big white beach lined with palm trees, look up Little Barakai on Google Maps, not Palaton Beach. We'll link the location below. Well, that was super relaxing. I definitely almost fell asleep on the beach several mm. times. <laughs> and that's pretty much all we did. Now we're gonna go find some dinner. Actually, I just want gelato for dinner. Ooh, now we're gonna go find some gelato. A really good Italian place with gelato. <laughs> This Italian place supposedly has really good gelato, really good Italian food. We just gotta peek first and make sure they're not hella expensive before we go in. But I really want gelato. How's it looking? It's expensive. Oh no! It's pretty hella expensive. Most of the prices are in like the four or 500 peso range, which is close to like $10 a place. So probably we won't eat here. <laughs> We have abandoned dinner all together for the time being. And now we're just gonna get some homemade ice cream and a waffle cone. Who needs real food for dinner? I'll do a scoop of dark chocolate in a waffle basket. She already started eating it without me. <laughs> we're good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I got some dark chocolate ice cream and some coconut ice cream. I'm gonna try them together. Oh my God. The chocolate, it's like so intense. I love it. It's like fudgy chocolatey. And the coconut, it tastes like straight up coconut. Like that's the most coconutty tasting coconut ice cream I've ever had. This is pretty good. It's okay. I'll save my gelato for Italy. Um, your mom. <laughs> Amateurs eat waffle bowls with a spoon. Hey. <laughs> oh, We're on our way to find shrimp fettuccine. Such an interesting vlog. Isn't it really? We lay on beach, we look for food. Eat ice cream instead. That's what you do in Ziki Hor. That was really good ice cream. That ice cream was slapping. I just wish the scoops were bigger because I could have eaten like five times as much ice cream as she gave me. We gave a bit of a long-winded conclusion here, so I'll try to spare you guys and wrap this up quickly. Basically, we had a couple of disappointments today, but we still really enjoyed our time in Sikihor. It seems like no matter where you go in the Philippines, you'll find wonderful people, amazing food, and beautiful scenery. If you are in Sikihor, we highly recommend visiting Cantabon Cave and Boo Cafe, which we visited in our last video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go watch it, right after the silly goosery. She just says, I like this thing. That right there, I did on purpose. Uh huh. That was on purpose. Sure. What on earth is this woman doing? 
Oh, she's about to straddle this waterfall. <laughs> what is happening? I think this is a Do you? Why are you so confident? I gotta root for somebody. You gotta root for me. <laughs> Might as well be myself. <laughs> now we start putting stuff on top. <laughs> oh. I think we were supposed to do that the whole time. I think whenever you take one off, you're supposed to put it. So it keeps getting taller. That makes that sense. That sounds correct. We're about it, Jenga. We did it wrong. Let's go to the beach. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Looks like shit. I lost some waffle. Lost some good men out there. <laughs> She's gonna give Tamara a little update on what just happened. Oh my god. We just ate a little <laughs> and now we're literally about to have our dinner. Yeah, pretty much. R and R and R and R and R and R and R. Excuse me? <laughs> Anywho, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I was making a stupid face when you started. <laughs> so? I don't care if your face is stupid. <laughs> I ran out of air. Stay with me.